Good morning everyone and welcome back to our farm here. So today now it's just going to be about cleaning off feeding boards after the winter. Because what happens is that when we put meal out and the snails hibernate in winter time, they don't eat the meal on top and that meal can start to turn colour and start going off. So now that we're coming into spring and they're going to start waking up again, now we're going to just clear off the timber boards and scrape off the meal so we can start to fresh. And then while we're doing that, we'll go into the second pin and clear out the veg that was in it from last year and we'll go and get that replanted. So that's what the plan is now for out here. So come on and have a look. So with this second pin now here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through it, clean off the boards of course first and then take out any snails that are still in it. We have this pin already harvested so there's only the odd few snails left in it so we're just going to run through it take out any snails that are still knocking about move them into other pins while we clear off this one and get this ready for replanting and you can just see the meal now here how it just starts to change color and go off so we just scrape off all this old stuff and get it ready now and so we can put new feed out now fresh stuff again for when the snails start to wake up and as you can see now they're just starting to wake up now here already so that's what today's job is now is just to clean off these boards and there's quite a few boards in it so we'll spend the whole day now doing this and we'll see how far we get great start lads magic So we have a lot of work done here now since the last time I held up the camera. So weather and everything was just so bad that we had no point filming. So we're back to getting a bit of sun today. So here we are. So we have two pins now done, cleared off, everything ready to go to replant. I'll show you now. Don't mind the noise in the background. They're just cutting turf way off over. So that's what the noise is. So we've all these pins now here done. All the way up, all the ground turned over cleaned off, all timbers cleaned. So this is ready for planting now here. Now on both sides now, they're all done and ready to go. So this pin here has already had the chicken manure put onto it and the rain has washed that in. This pin here hasn't. So we're going to do that now first and we're promised rain tonight. So rain is going to wash that in. So that'll just help with the soil and growth and all that stuff. So we had a few timbers now down here that fell off the feeding boards. So I'll go and put these back up now first. And once these are up then, we'll start planting this pin here and getting this done. So you'll be able to watch us do that. Now, so that's us off that pin now for the next few weeks until that starts to come up. And so that's pin one done. So now it's time to move on to pin two. And in this pin now, we have to go and put down the chicken manure and follow the instructions to keep everything safe on the farm. We have to wear a mask and gloves because apparently this is dusty. So except us breathing it in and stuff. So we'll go and suit it and boot it. And we put the chicken manure down here now first and then we go to replant it. Now, so do we look well? We should be well used to wear masks after the COVID pandemic. Let's go.
So that's the chicken manure done. So now time for seeds. Let's go. Now, so that's all the green stuff planted in two pins, but this seed here now that we're going to plant over this is my favorite seed of all. This seed here is our bee friendly mix of flowers. That's just random high nectar flowers so that it's just good for the bees and it's always good to keep the bees happy at the same time. So we'll just randomly plant this now throughout this pin just in random little spots just so when it comes up in summer, we'll have nice bee friendly flowers to add to the farm here itself and just like everything we do here on our farm we try to keep it local and within ireland so even the chicken manure that we get and even what i like to see on everything that we do made and owned in ireland so it's manufactured in kilkenny so we like everything that we do just to keep it as in ireland and as local as we can because it just everything helps out especially in these mad crazy times we're in keeping everything local and supporting local is a very important part just to help all these businesses out like ourselves we all need help and support and it's just good to keep it as local as we can so here we are a few days later now with all this pin here planted like you've seen in the video and then we got four nights of frost and ice frost and ice in may Welcome to an Irish spring. So we don't know what damage is done or how much of this is going to come back up. So we might actually have to come out here and just reseed it just to give it that extra bit of going power and hopefully that it comes back up. So we'll see how that goes and we'll keep you up to date on what we do and what happens anyway. So we'll wrap this video up here for now. And thanks for watching. Don't forget anyone that hasn't hit the subscribe button, please hit it down below. You'll get to keep up to date on everything that we're doing here on the farm. And for all the people who keep coming back, thanks a million guys and we'll talk to you soon again. Thanks.